Hello and welcome to an upside down box of nickels. Um, I just got the nickel box up here backwards, but uh, we're gonna see if we can hunt this one or not. If not, I have another box that is circulated. So let's see what we got here. And we have some circulated nickels here. So we have ourselves a nickel hunt. All right, let's get into these nickels and hopefully find some cool stuff. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. First roll just poured it out. And back here, I noticed I have a 1946 sticking out. Um, I haven't checked any of these other coins, but uh, I saw this date sticking out, so I figured let's go ahead and pull it out. 1946 out of Philadelphia. Cool, first find in the first roll. Nice. There we go. Well, on the first roll, we've got another find here. 1954 out of Denver. Nice, that's two finds in this first roll. Very cool, very cool. Hopefully that's good signs for the box here. Roll number two. Um, towards the end, we got another 1954. Another one from Denver. Cool. Very cool indeed. Awesome. There's three nickels in the first two rolls. Nice. Roll number three. Got a 1956. This one is from Denver. Nice. There we go. Roll number five and a couple coins in. Just open this up and I see I've got a 1940. Looks like a 1940. 1940. Nice. That's our oldest nickel so far. Very cool. That one is from Philadelphia. Boom. Come on, roll number eight. And I've come across a rear face cement mark. And this one is a, ooh, it's a San Francisco. This one's going to be old. I think they stopped using the San Francisco mint mark on the reverse of coins in the mid 50s. Can't remember if it's 56 or it might be 54, which is what this one is. Nice. Very cool. Um, another old nickel to go up here. Very nice. Number nine, just poured it out. And I've got one here that looks like it has a rear face cement mark there. So let's take a look and see what we got. Oh, another San Francisco. This is going to be another old one. 1947. Very cool. Another 40s nickel to go up here. We're on to roll number 12. And I've come across the 1959 here. 1959 out of Philly. Nice. I believe that has a lower mintage. It's not a key or semi key or anything like that. But I believe the 59 and 58 out of Philadelphia had a little bit of a lower mintages than the rest of the nickels. Just poured out roll 18. And right here. We have a 1948, 1948 out of Philadelphia. Nice, that's another ad for the stack. Roll number 19, and I've got a rear face cement mark here. I figured let's flip this over on camera and see what we got. This is a Denver. Oh, 1955, nice. That's another nice find there. Roll number 20, just poured it out, and I've got one here that has an older look to it, and I've got a Canadian, so I figured let's take a look at these. Canadian is 1999. That's a 1999 Canadian. Let's look at this one right here. And is it older? Yes, it is. 1948 out of Philadelphia. Nice. Nice. There might be more in this roll, but I will uh, let you know if I come across anything else. Roll number 21. And I've come across the 1941. This one is out of Philly. Nice, that's another old nickel to go up here. Still on roll 21, a few coins back. We've hit a rear face cement mark here. Oh, let's zoom in and take a look. There's a Denver there. 1955, nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's our second 1955 out of Denver, I believe. Roll number 22, I've come across this uh, one here that has that older look to it. Doesn't have a rear face cement mark, so it might not be old, but it kind of looks old. So let's see what this one is. 1946, nice. 
Nice, nice, nice. We'll put it up here with the others. Roll number 32, and I've come across a pretty nice 1955 here. Let's see. Oh, well, that one is pretty nice. It does have a little dirt on the surfaces. That one is a really nice nickel. This one is out of Denver. Nice. Nice, nice. That's a nice find. We're going to put it over here, and I'll check that against the albums with some other nickels. i got a few other nickels over here. I am stacking up, and we'll see how things go. On to rule 39. I've got a, another mint mark on the reverse here. Um, let's see if this is a 1964 or earlier, 1954, nice, nice. That's another find for up here. I just poured out roll 42 and right here, okay, it is on camera. Looks like we got a 1948, 1948 out of Denver, nice. Nice, that's another old nickel, boom. Roll 44 and working down my way down here in the middle, looks like I got a 1940 that stuck out there. This one is from Philadelphia. All right, all right. That's another old Wheatson. I think 40 is the oldest one we found so far. We are on roll 48. And towards the back here, I've got another nickel. Old one from 1958. This one is from Philadelphia. Nice. All right. Let's put that up here with the others. Final roll, roll 50. I've got one here that looks like it is older. It doesn't have a mint mark, so it might not be an old one. It just might be a worn, dirty one. But let's flip it over and find out. Ooh, 1940. All right. I think that's our third 1940 of the hunt. This is our last roll. So let, let me just quickly take a quick look at these. And uh, there's one back here that might be. So this one does have that old look to it. Let's see, 1964. Yep, it does have the old look to it, but there were over a billion minted in 1964. Oh, hey, look. The last coin in the roll, 1956. That was on the outside of the roll. Did not see the mint mark, so I didn't. This is a Philadelphia, so I didn't think that was an old one, but it is. 1956. Pretty gnarly one, but that is probably going to be our last find. Let me finish going through these. I don't see anything else old in here, but uh, I'll be right back and we'll do the wrap up. Okay, so it's time to wrap up here. We had a good fun box here. Um, we ended up with 10 from the 40s and 11 from the 50s. Oldest ones being the 1940. I got three 1940s, hit one Canadian, 99. We got the one nice 1955 out of Denver. Um, I only have a couple of nickels over here uh, this box was pretty pretty rough, but I have just a few nickels and these to check against the album. I did look at these. There were no errors or varieties on these, so they're just uh, straight old nickels. So let me get out the albums. We'll check those out, and I'll be right back to show you if we have any ads or additions. Okay, so there were no fills or upgrades for any of our albums here. Uh, nothing. This box just didn't have a lot of nice nickels in it. The 1955 out of Denver was almost the same uh, level of quality as the one I have in here. So I decided not to switch that out. Um, so, you know, it was fun hunt overall, had some good finds. And unfortunately we didn't do anything with the albums, but I uh, have been working on these albums for a while and they are pretty filled with some nicer nickels for the most part. Do have some dates that need to be uh, upgraded, but uh, I'm still holding out for some nicer nickels of those dates. All right, well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up, helps me out, and drop a comment down below and let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a nice day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support. Well, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you click on that link right there, it'll help me out. And then I have a couple of videos over here that is recommended. So if you would like to watch another one, I would definitely appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Have a great day.